No, it was great. You know, just good to be back out here. You know, obviously we got a lot of work to do, but I thought organizationally it was a good start, a lot of good energy. And, you know, we all, like we say, you know, one's good, so what do we do, you know, when we finish up at 15? But it was a, it was a really good start. Glad to be back. Do you have jitters? I mean, is it one of those things where I know there's a bunch of times when you kind of felt like this is a big step, but walking out on this field again? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, you always get some butterflies anytime you go back out to practice each year. But, you know, when you've been sitting out for a while, it was, uh, it was a big deal. Of course, usually you've got uh, fall coming up. You've got a long time to go. Do you pace yourselves at all doing this? Yeah, probably a little bit, just because of our numbers. Of course, somebody's going to look out and say, you probably didn't pace a lot today. You know, we think we've got a way we practice and a, and a style and a tempo that we want to reflect. And, uh, you know, I saw that today. We just got to make sure we take care. We only got about 64 guys, so we got to take care of them. What did you like in seeing from them individually? You know, I just I think the effort was good. I thought the uh, the organization is what I was looking for, and that's what I usually do walking around, especially in the spring. I'm looking for coaching and organization and guys locked in, and, and I saw that today. Was it pretty clean? It was. You know, especially for a first day, it was really clean. Did you get a sense for some of the guys that stuck around with the program that, that this is a really special day for those guys? Yeah, I think so, and I think you hear that from those guys. You know, they really made this happen as much as anybody. So to see those guys here, that was special for me to get to watch them. Based on that same question, I mean, a lot of times coaches say, you have a chance to be part of something special, but be part of the foundation. Right. I mean, these guys are obviously really invested in that. I mean, they get to be the group that brings this program back. Yeah, literally, they're the guys that are bringing this thing back. They're going to be part of making history, and, uh, you know, it doesn't get much bigger than that for our program. Since you don't have a fall schedule coming up, do you almost have to foster the competition even more so during practice? You do, and I, and I think that's what you, hopefully you're going to see out of us. You know, what we want to do when we go into fall, we really think we're going to have 22 starters on offense, 22 on defense, and they should be competing against each other. And if we can carry that over into 17, you know, we'll really create some depth and really make ourselves better. It's like having Shaq Jones out here, because he's a guy that, based on his success here, he could have probably gone somewhere else and played right away. He's shut. What does it say that he chose to stay here and help you guys better? I think he did what a lot of other guys maybe thought about do, did, you know, um, just to see him here and, and to give us that leadership. And, and obviously he's got a chance to, you know, maybe even keep playing. So, you know, he's going to be a guy that, you know, that we look to for a lot of leadership. What is the focus when, when you're not playing for 18 months, but it, it looked like you guys were really getting after it. I mean, not overly on the first day, but I mean, there was some real emphasis to, we got to practice like we're going to play, even if that's not till 25th. Yeah, I think that is the key for our coaches, for our players, uh, you know, creating the competition. We just talked about creating a sense of urgency, and, uh, and we are playing for something every day. We're getting better. We're creating depth charts. Uh, you know, we're maybe special teams. You know, we work at special teams. So I think all those things are just something we're going to have to do a good job of coaches to keep creating and fostering. There, there at the end, you did a little something where you lined them up. What was the purpose? What, what are you trying to accomplish with that? Well, I tell you what happens in spring is, you know, you can get divided. You know, O can go against D and it gets physical. And, you know, this is without pads on. So, you know, I think what we want to do is always come back together as a family before it's all over. And, uh, you know, it's not an offense, defense, you know, against each other. It's, it's a team. At what point today during this practice did it stop feeling historical and just start <laughs> feeling like, you know, an everyday spring practice? I was probably getting into that till all you guys came out here, and you know, and then it, it kind of brought the history back out. But I, you know, I think for our guys, it just became football, and that's what we want. You know, we'll look up and it'll be practice six, practice eight, and then it just gets to be about you know football and getting better and, and all those things. But we don't want to forget this because I think those are those things that's going to motivate us uh, without those games next year. With where you're at now and what you've endured as a program, as a coach. Would you take any of it back? Do you think it's made you guys stronger do you, as people and stuff? Yeah, I mean, obviously we wouldn't want to go through it again, but uh, you know, it's going to be, it's going to make this program what it, what it probably could have, could have been, should have been. Uh, I think it's going to make this community proud, and, and uh, hopefully, it's, you know, like we thought, it would be a, it's a national story, and that's, that is 100% our goal with to be a national team. So uh, that's what we're working for. That's what you know, and so we're going to use those things to motivate us. Gosh, you know, I came out here for a camp one day last year that was real bittersweet, but I guess Marshall game was our last, you know, our last actual game. What was the symbolism behind having the first day here? You know, for us, it's, it, you know, it goes back to what our facilities are like. You know, we get a lot of rain. We just, we need to get over here. But I tell you, there's, there's a lot of just, I think, histor history here. You know, it's so historic. And I, our guys get here, I think they get a sense of that. And, um, you know, it's just, it's just good to get them in this environment because it, it just gets us away.
Did you personally have to knock off a little rust, or was it like getting a, riding a bike when you got out here? Yeah, probably kind of like riding a bike after 28 years. You wrap up practice with a team photo. I'm not I'm sure if you normally do that as team <laughs> practice, but is that something? What does that mean to have a team photo for the first time back? Yeah, I think it. We just want to take a chance, you know, with this, with the fact that it is history. These are things we're going to look back on, and we really want to make a big deal about that. We're trying to give them a sense of that, and you know, where they're falling in history, and you know, for this program and guys that came before them, and uh, etc. How well do the coaches know all the players at this point? I think they know them pretty well. I mean, obviously, you know your positional guys, the O and D guys. You know, we've been together, and one of my big things, other than the recruiting, is you know we try and get in the weight room every chance we can with these guys. And um, but I, you know, it's going that's going to grow. You know, as we get here, we got a lot of guys that are. The thing that I'm so proud of is guys that you know that are walking on and paying their own way and finding a way to be out here. And we treat them just like those other guys. They're trying to earn something. So you know, when half your roster is walk on, that tells you a lot about those guys. This is such an unprecedented deal. How did you guys know? I think you find those things like history and, and the depth chart and competition and, and ways to reward them and you know that's what we're trying to do. I, you know, that's going to be the that's going to be the book someday. You know, is how did we get from here to 17? And you know, I told these guys none of this matters if you know if you don't show up when we play in 17. So that, I think that's going to be a daily a daily job I have. Good. All right, guys. Thanks for being here.